The challenges are, I think one of the challenges is um, referral of patients to a transplant center. So um, just like in multiple myeloma and other malignancies, uh, a lot of times these patients are, are not considered for an allogenic tra transplant and they're not, they're not referred to a tertiary center for a transplant uh, evaluation. Uh, this, the second is uh, our transplant process, even though we do it with an intention to cure, it's, uh, you know, it's a far from perfect process. They, it has associated morbidities, um, it has associated mortality from the process of transplant itself. Um, so that is certainly a challenge. Specifically in myelofibrosis, these patients have had a chronic malignancy for years before they go to transplant usually. Um, and along the way, they develop comorbidities associated with myelofibrosis. For example, issues related to splenomegaly, issues related to decreased performance status, issues related to pulmonary hypertension and other things. So um, that makes them less optimal of a candidate going into transplant. Um, and hence, that probably results in them being, um, you know, having lesser or uh, less uh, or inferior outcomes after transplant compared to some other malignancies. Uh, so there's a lot of work to be done in terms of trying to improve survival after allogenic transplant in, in these patients because this is what we have to offer for cure um, for I guess the times to come because even the drugs in the pipeline I don't think any of them at this time uh, are offering anything curative uh, to, to, to change the burden of the disease or the natural history of the disease.